God. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. It is a good thing to give praise unto our God. Because he is the most high God. It is my good pleasure to give thanks and praise to God to you. This May the 22nd of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is Apostle Samuel Hendricks, the full gospel word of faith. We come to you in Jesus' name to bring you greetings, to bless you, to honor our great God, bless his great name, bless his great love and the way he does and what he does and who he is, and bless his people who is the sheep of his pasture. And we just want to be a blessing. We ask you to like this video, amen, and be partakers of it. Pray for us, amen, and amen, support us. Let us know what this means to you. Amen. And we pray that, that the word go forth and deliverance come in any form that you need. Amen. God has a word for everybody. Word for me. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. A word for you. Amen. And if you receive it, the Bible says in the book of James, if you receive it with meekness, sometimes when the word come, it kind of, uh, it kind of uh, uh, sends like an abrasion or something because there's a wall, there's a resistance coming. Or there is resistance there. But the word is like a hammer, what Jeremiah said. It'll break that wall. It'll break that resistance. The reason to break it is to get through to bring you deliverance, to bring you peace. We have a bomb. We have healing. We have a salve. We have medicine. And his name is Jesus. He's the bomb of Gilead. And he come to give you what you need. And Amen. Keep abreast of all the, amen, the lights that's coming forth. Uh, on this venue and keep us in your prayers as we said before we want to be a blessing to you God bless you let's go to Psalms 27 there's a word in there for us Lord we love you today we praise you today we worship you today we adore you we bow down before you you we adorize you you to be adorized we adore you with adornment, a precious old God, amen, a sincere, tender love, because you are tender and a great God. Oh, you're mighty, yes, you're strong, but you're so sweet. You're sweeter, amen, than honey. Hallelujah. And so we adore you. We just adore you. You are adorable. And you are the sweet one. You are the, amen, the sweet rose of Sharon. Hallelujah. You are the, the sweet lily of the valley. So you in places, amen, that sometimes people don't see that there's a need. They don't see anything there. But you know all things. You see everything. You are omnipotent. You are omnipresent. And you are omniscient. You know everything. You're all powerful. You're everywhere at the same time. And you're still good. So we ask you to bless us, bless this word. Bless this word to our heart, our life, and our living to bring forth fruit, productivity for the kingdom of God. Let houses, homes, families, business, corporations, individuals, groups, amen, be blessed and flourish. Bring forth fruit, bring forth evidence, signs, wonders, miracles, however God want to do it. By the Holy Ghost. And we just ask the Holy Spirit to have his way. Dear sir. In Jesus name. Amen. Psalm 27. The Lord is my light. And my salvation. Whom shall I fear? See there your enemy is right there. That word fear. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I fear. When God came to Adam. After they had disobeyed God. Did he come to punish them? Mm -mm. They already done messed up. When you got a boo-boo, that's what the little kids you say when they get a bump or scratch on their knee or the elbow or something. I got a boo-boo. When you get a boo-boo, when I use the word boo-boo, that don't just mean it was a light thing. Sin ain't a light thing. Sin is a deadly thing because it comes to separate you from your God. And sin brings you, leaves you with baggage of being afraid. You didn't have no fear. You wasn't afraid. You weren't apprehensive about nothing. You wasn't uh, intimidated. You wasn't looking around, looking. You wasn't scared, looking over your shoulder. You didn't have 
goofy things going through your brain, making you hallucinate, you had peace. It passed all understanding. And then when sin come in, disobedience come in, it come to upset that, disturb you, so you can have all these crazy abnormalities. That's abnormal to be in fear. Put that sit there. Mama used to say, put that, put the lid on and let that smother. Let them steak smother. Let that chicken smother. Let that liver smother. Whatever you got in that in that iron skillet, let it let it smother. Some of y'all don't know what that means. I'll train you. I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna learn you. That means let it get saturated. Let it get its booze. Well, why you need it in do? So that word can do something to you. It can bring forth understanding and clarity. It can bless you. Fear is your enemy. Now, the fear of the Lord, the Bible says, makes you clean. The fear of the Lord. The reverence, respect of God. Not the apprehensions. Not the fear. Not walking around worried. Here's something goofy and it makes you... You're going good. All of a sudden, you hear something goofy that makes you all, all disturbed. Now your day is off. You had your plan all set up. Now your plan is all blown to smithereens because you're, you're afraid. God said, hey, hey, God walked in. Cool of the day. Adam and God walking and talking. They fellowship. God loved that. And Adam loved that. Then when they disobeyed God, God came. As he normally do, his presence come. And God asked him, where are you? He said, you mean God didn't know? He knew. He wants you to say something. He wants you to communicate with him. Even when you err, come and communicate. Tell him. Talk to him. Don't try to hide. He knows. You know what he knows. And sure the devil knows. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but be straight with God and with yourself. That's two people you be straight with, God and yourself. Y'all be straight. Amen. Amen. Be straight with God and yourself. The rest of the folk, don't worry about it. Because you don't need to be telling everything you know. They don't need to know. <gasps> you mean? What about you? What? Open your closet. <laughs> Uncover your cover. What's in your the, the peak, peak hole that you got covered up? What that hole you got in the ground? What's up in there? What's in that can you got stuff dying off in there? Hey, none of your business. Oh, but your business is checking. Oh, you are an investigative reporter. You ain't digging into my stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not here to spend time with you haggling about you and my business and you and gotten by your business and I'm not in your business and all. I ain't in here for that mess. I'm here to say, dispel that fear. Amen. Get out of fear. The Bible says, perfect love Mature love. That means love when you know God. You know who you are in the Lord. And you know your walk with him and how you treat others. You know your 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 appearance and the way you carry yourself with others. You ain't putting on. You who you are. And you still ain't got to tell everything. Mm -hmm. Walking in love. Walking in mercy and kindness. Walking in the fullness. Walking in kindness. Kindness. People forgot to be kind. Niceness is not kindness. Talking. You can talk fear. When you, when you talk love, when you talk kindness, it, it soothes. It, it brings quailness. It brings quietness. It brings settledness. Mm -hmm. It brings strength. It comes the waters. Yeah. Jesus said, Peace! Peace wasn't disturbed. The waters was. He told the waters, take peace. Peace. And then he said to him, said, since they took peace, what am I going to do with it? Now be still. Mm -hmm. What did the water do? Sit down. Oh, yes. And boys on that boat looked at him. Did you see that? What kind of man is this that can command over the water and the waves, the wind and the waves. And he looked at them, he said, where's your faith? He wasn't scolding them. He wanted them to come back. Remember, come in to remember who you are. You've been walking with me. I've been training you. You've been using the faith I gave you, which is my faith. 
and you've been working miracles, things been done, and something come up to disturb you, and instead of speaking my word, you take what you see, or what you heard, not what you know. What you know makes the difference. When you know something, don't let what you know be traded for something that's fool's gold. The baby got the candy. And the crook, this big old burly crook, got some little shiny thing. I'm gonna show you. Here, take this and let me have your candy. Ooh, that is a show, yeah. yeah. Dangling it for the baby. Yeah. And the baby said, here. And when the baby get his hand on the thing, it ain't shiny no more. He got the candy and he gone. When you say no, mm -mm, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting into don't get don't get into strife, strife, arguing, complaining, always saying negative words that open door for fear to come in. Fear hangs around. They they bosom buddies. Fear, strife, complaint. God loves his people. He killed his people for complaining. When he told them don't complain, when they had what they needed, and every, every they found something. If you find something that don't look good, go fix it real quick and just cover it. Well, why are you covering it? Why don't you make a big deal out of it? it, it it's not a, it's just a little mold here. Make a mountain out of it. Kill it. Fix it. Go on. Don't stand there and make something out of it when there's nothing there. Don't do that. You know why? Because you're going to open the door for the devil to come in and bring stuff in your life. Mm -hmm. You're going to open the door for accident. You're going to open the door for calamity. You're going to open the door for sickness to start developing in you. If you're sick, you need to walk in peace. You need to humble yourself and forgive everybody and let stuff go. Don't, don't find no room to argue. Don't find no room to be mad. Don't find no room to make complaint. You see something bad. Because the enemy wants want your eye to look at, instead of looking at the truth, looking at the word, looking at what God said, looking at peace, he walking in peace, pursuing peace. He wants you to find something to, to, to be contrary to God. Right. So when you do that, fear comes in. When fear comes in, when you try to use your faith, your faith gets hampered. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It stops you. It stops you in your action to use your faith. One lady, no, it was a man. The doctor gave him up, gave him, said, you, you can go home and live your last day with your family. It's over with. He got him some comedy tapes, and he laughed himself out of this, out of that sickness. You say, I don't see how that worked. Okay, since you don't see it, let me ask you a question. Explain to me, explain to me your breathing. How do you breathe? And what is it you breathe in? Explain that to me. Since you need to have all these explanations, you have to have a writing to be able to settle yourself. Explain to me how you tell me that somebody tell me, and I'm not sure, I'm not a scientist. They say your blood is blue inside, but when you cut, it gets out and turn red. I don't know if that's true. Is that right or wrong? It's wrong. I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna stick with where I'm at. <laughs> I know it's red when I see it. I don't know. I understand the process of a baby, the husband and the wife, and the seed being planted and the baby growing. But God brings forth life. Amen. And that's a baby, even while he's when he's conceived, that's a baby. Even if he ain't developed in the one, that's the baby. That's a baby. Because he's a soul. He got a soul in him. He well, when conception came, that's when a, that's when that soul, that soul got in there. I don't care if you don't like me. I didn't come here to get to be your friend. I ain't come in to, to be like that. You ain't got to pat my back. I can pat my own back. See? <laughs> I'm good. So you open the door for fear, and fear comes in. So he says, "Listen, I, whom shall I? Whom shall? Whom shall I fear?" God says to Adam, "says Adam, where are you?" Adam says. We hid ourselves. Well, to yourself you hid yourself, but you ain't hid yourself from God. Mm -hmm. You and God been straight up all along. So when He come, when He call you, y'all talk, y'all just go on and do y'all conversation and walking and fellowshipping. 
but when God come now, now, the one who is your peace, the one is your life, the one who is the lover of your soul, now you say you're afraid of him. What you afraid of him? What, he, what did he do to make you afraid of him? He hasn't done nothing. You just have been, you've been partaker of something else that's not righteousness. Righteousness is God's word and what he says. I don't care how you feel. I don't care what somebody else has done. I don't care if the devil been making you be almost itchy to want to do something contrary. You say you are a lying devil. Amen. Be still. Amen. And know that he is God. Amen. Rebuke yourself. See, you want to rebuke others? Rebuke yourself. Go to the, the mirror and rebuke yourself. Well, I ain't talking to myself, really. Talk to yourself all the time. Mm -hmm. Let somebody say something stupid that doesn't make sense to you. You'll be rehearsing it and saying it out loud, saying it quiet, going over, rehearsing, repeating it, repeating. You talk to yourself. Mm -hmm. But you're repeating sin. You're repeating a matter that doesn't add up, that doesn't make good sense. Because the word of the Lord is peaceful. The word of the Lord is kind. The word of the Lord. Only any time it comes to bring any stirration or any upsetting, it's to, to clean. When you go to clean something that's dirty or nasty or musty or funky, musty smell, mm -hmm. you don't go in there. You go in throwing stuff out and cleaning and scrubbing and Amen. Bleach, I'll use that word, I don't want to get in trouble with no particular company. <laughs> you start throwing bleach. I'm not a bleach man myself, but that's all right. It works. <laughs> and when you get through, you have that strong smell, but after that smell settles down, you have that, that clean smell. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah, well you want you want your life and your attitude, your work, your mouth, your your thoughts, what you say to be clean. To be pure. This is what he said. He says, I was afraid. That's what Adam said. He said, I was afraid. And God said, I was afraid. Afraid? Why are you afraid? He said, because I was naked. He said, who told you you were naked? You wasn't naked. You, sure, you didn't have any clothes on, but you wasn't naked. You was covered with the glory of God. Which that had you purity and clean. There was no filthiness, no filthy thought, none, nothing vile. But when sin come in, all the contrariness and all the backwardness and all the twisted stuff and all the musty and the stinky and the funky stuff comes in. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the three lights. Amen. Mm -hmm. So it says, To whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of, say, wait a minute, he, the Lord is my light. And my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Now fear and being afraid, same, same family. Since the Lord is, whom shall you be? Nobody. You ain't afraid of yourself. I'm afraid of what I'm going to do. No, no. The Bible says in your patience, your obedience, and your following God and doing what he said and letting the word work with you, he says you possess your soul. Who's going to possess your soul for you? Who's going to get your faculty squared away where you can think straight? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm so mad I can't think. Uh, something wrong here. You need to stop being mad. Mm -hmm. I didn't say that don't be displeased by something that's not right, but don't let that be the thing. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to war. Do you know in history that was, I don't have the, the records, I should have had it, but I'm going to tell it anyway. That in record, there was, a, there was a war where a lot of people were, was killed over the shape of a table. Wow. I don't care. I don't care if you don't believe me. I don't care if you want to hear it. I don't care if you, I'm telling you. Over the shape of a table. They started a war, and people lost their lives because they disagreed and argued over the shape of a table. Get a saw and cut it the way you want it to be. But y'all got to be in agreement. Right. Instead of walking in love. Anyway. When the wicked, even my enemy and my foes, came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. See, you wasn't a word. Why you wasn't a word? Because you know God's with you. Mm -hmm. A host, though a host 
should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. What? Now, when you encamp, that means they surround you. You seen the cowboys and the Indians where they have the the, the wagon train circled, and they encircled because there's a, a host of the enemy going around with them shooting arrows and what have you. But he said, "Lord, well, he say he say though a host that means a whole bunch uh -huh. yeah. should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Why?" The war should rise against me. In this, I will be confident. Mm -hmm. What are you confident in? You confident in your bank account? No. You confident in your job? You confident in your, your degree? You confident in your ability on how you can talk to people and how you can get your way? How people are persuaded, they're moved by you and your ability to, to you know, confidence them? <laughs> What are you persuaded about? What is your confidence? Where are you? Where are you? Where do you have your 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 sense of security? Where do you feel secure at? I'm secure in Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm secure that He gonna keep me. He that keep us Israel, He don't fall asleep. He don't take naps. He don't take forty winks. He watches over me. He watches Amen. over me. Hey, He don't just watches over me to keep the folks out there messing with me. He watch me so that me don't mess me up. Thanks for the, the four folks that said amen there. Thank you. I'm going to be confident in this. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilions. He got a covering. He got a tent. He got a place of covering. The Bible says, now God is light, so light don't cast no shadow. But his glory will shadow over you. So if he don't have no shadow, how can he shadow over me? That means his glory covering you. What are you doing? He keeping the enemy from even being able to see you. The enemy can stand right there nose to nose to you and can't see you. Because he's looking at Jesus that's in you. <laughs> he's looking at the one who said he would never leave you nor forsake you. He's looking at the one that David says, the Lord goes before me. Yeah. I'm going to tell y'all a secret. This secret everybody don't know. It ain't me. Some people. <laughs> Some people like to go before the Lord. They like to go ahead of God. She don't get quiet up in here. Mm -hmm. Must be must be a couple of five, three, one, two, one people. <laughs> that means running ahead of God. That means you you doing what your own thing. You running, you running, God said, be still. See, a, a good soldier always pay attention to the order. He don't make no order, he follow orders. I don't need to pull, pull my pants up. I'm pull my britches up. I don't take orders from nobody. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You get orders. The Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by J.C. Penney's. Uh huh. Order somebody, order. somebody, somebody, somebody. Nope. They're ordered by Donald Trump. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> come on, help me out up in here. Somebody, at least two people. Come on, come on. Uh, no, no. Says a good man, or step of a good man, woman too, are ordered by the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And those steps that he ordered you on, sometimes you don't know which way you're going, but you know you follow him, and you ain't got to worry about it, because if you trust him, He'll have no fear. If he go before you, you know he's going to make your way straight. If he's your peace, he know he's going to settle it when everybody else seems to be like they're on an earthquake land. Your peace, your section of the land, you walking on ain't shaking. Everybody looking at you and saying, what is wrong with her? What's wrong with him? How come they not shaking? Now they ain't mad at you because you're walking in peace. You're letting God settle you. He, he's sending you there so you can help them folks that's, that's not, that's not, that, ain't, that ain't in God, that ain't listening. Some of them in God, they ain't hard-headed, they ain't obeying. Mm -hmm. 
Put the lid back on and let it smother for a little bit. <laughs> in the time of trouble, he'll hide me in his pavilion. And in the secret place of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies. See, if your head ain't above your enemies, you're going to be down. Your enemies are over you, and they running stuff. Don't spend time chronicling. Chronicling means writing down, keeping notes, and pay, even in order of what they did. Don't spend time doing that. You wasting precious time. You need to build yourself up in the word. You need to convince yourself what the word says so you can walk. Because you need your vision clear so you can see clean. People clog your eyes up with all in your mind and your hearing. The reason they're doing that because they're trying to get you to talk like them. When they get you to talk like them, you can't call those things which be not as though they are. You can't tell stuff to turn around because you've been saying the wrong thing anyway. The elements already know you. You confused. You don't know. You can't command nobody. You ain't been. You ain't been listening. How you gonna tell me what to do? Lights, 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 lights. I'm finna quit. I'm finna quit. I'm finna quit. I'm finna quit. quit. But if you're obedient and you're faithful and you're listening more than you're talking, and when you do talk, you got something to say. You got something to make it right. When you open your mouth, the Bible says a wellspring, beautiful, sweet water wellspring come out of your mouth. People drink. Mm -hmm. They drink. He shall set me up on a rock. That rock's Jesus. Mm -hmm. And now shall my my head be lifted above my enemies. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of cussing. Oh, oh, y'all read? Oh, I thought y'all wouldn't read that. If y'all wouldn't read, I can just say anything I want to. I can just throw out junk. I can say any, diddy, 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 do. I can say anything, y'all. I know y'all was with me. I thought y'all was just looking all up and I can say what I want to. I, I didn't think y'all was lining me up. I didn't think y'all was following me. You're supposed to follow. Amen. So you don't be in error. Right. And, uh, well, you should be. What about you? I don't, I, don't, I don't follow you home. Right. You, you got your own place. You got your own mouth. You got your own faith. If you ain't saying this, if you're saying two things, you're like a snake. You're like a hypocrite. You say one thing only. Sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yet I will sing praises to myself. To the Lord. Oh, oh, okay. I just didn't know. I didn't know, I didn't know where y'all at. I didn't know where you was. Hear, O oh Lord, when I cry with my voice and have mercy also upon me and answer me. He answers you when he heard his word, your his word come out of your mouth. He answered you that. When thou says, seek ye my face, my heart says unto the Lord, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face from me. Hide not thy face far from me. Put me not, put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. You my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, when they have to leave, they're not forsaking you by intentionally, but they have to go. Right. Said so then the Lord will take me up. He'll be he he'll uphold you. Right. Teach me like last week we had the word where God says uh, the, the, the psalmist David said, "Uphold me, uphold my uphold my goings in your word, that my steps do not slip." Did you get that? Yeah. Either. Your, your step's not going to slip. It'll look like it now. It'll, it'll look like it. But don't worry about looks. It changed. You know, it'd be cloudy. It was cloudy this morning. Now the sun's out there. Somebody, anybody. Three Amen. folks. Amen. Three folks. Thank you for the three. He says here, forsake me not. But now, uh, he, he, 
when they forsake me, then you take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. You notice when he only mentioned about his enemies, he's telling him, Lord, you my help, and I know my enemies out there. They're like Goliath. Goliath saying, send a champion out. Now here he is. If two men come out there, he'll kill them all. Three men, he'll kill them all. Ten of them, he'll kill them all. He's big. But the problem was, for him, he's a big target. He can't be missed. And, he can. and he's, 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 he's wagging and shagging and talking and running his head. And then he's cussing God. He's cussing God. He's cussing God, then he's cussing the king that the Lord gave. And then he's cussing the people of God. And strike three, you out, buddy. You you cuss God. You, you really, your head go wrong. You cuss the king that God gave. God says, honor the Lord and the king. You cuss this king. And now you turn around and you cuss his covenant people. You has got to be out of your living mind. You ain't nothing but dog meat. Mockery <laughs> meat. <laughs> and he's doing all of this. And David was getting peace. David says, his brothers never said, now, we in battle ray. You need to go back and watch them little sheep. We we men, we doing men stuff. We in battle ray. We in this foxhole battle. You ain't battling nothing. You hide and hope he don't step towards y'all because y'all have to jump out of your foxhole and run. <laughs> and David over there turning big red. He's saying, who is this uncircumcised? He ain't got no covenant. That means he's dead meat. Anybody that's got a covenant, they got a place in God. But you ain't got no company. You ain't nothing but dead. That's why a lot of the enemies who knew what happened to the other folk that came against Israel decided we want to be covenant people too. We'll do whatever y'all do. And God will let them do it if they mean it. If they don't mean it, he already know. Right. Amen. For one thing, when you mention God, that'll anger them. But if they see what God did for his people... And they say, what Egypt got, I don't want none of that. Mm -hmm. Don't give me none. Pass me by. I don't want none. Right. So he says here, he says, so teach me thy way and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies. So why he had to ask God that? Because, you know, some folks say, God, you stay right there. I got this. I know what we'll do to them. But God said, why didn't you ask me what I want to do? And I would have already taken it out because he did say, this is not your battle. It's the Lord's battle. And what you're going to do is something I tell you to do that may not even seem make sense. You ain't got enough folk to beat, beat them folks up. All you got to do is get some lamps. And get some pictures, put the lamps inside the pictures, light the lamp, and then at a certain point, I want you to shout and break the pictures so the light can shine. And you doing this, which does not make sense to the normal uh, military mentality, that God is finna set them up so that the angels can come down. See, you need angelic help. You 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 you, you finna fight a spiritual warfare, and you are gonna try to use a knife and a gun. That devil don't care about you doing that because I'm going to show you what he did. When they did what God told them to do and them angels came down, they said one angel killed so many thousands of men. And the rest of them, God, people stood back. Fear, this is what fear do for you. Fear made them start killing each other. You ain't got to do nothing. Just stand there and look. Look at that fool. Look at them. Then when it was all over, God said, now y'all go down there and pick up the gold, the silver, get the food, get the clothing, and go. Amen. I want to be in the newspaper and say, I had a valiant fight. I killed about 50,000 people. I made up with a wise device, and I did that. You want to brag. You want to pridely. If you humble yourself, 
God will exalt you to the right place. Yes. He will exalt you. There's a due time. Everybody want to jump the clock. They want to jump seasons. That's why they're doing hybrid things. That's why they're playing with your food and they eat your food. And sickness and stuff is happening because they're playing with your food. They're saying we can manipulate nature. Amen, lights. Amen. We are so smart. We we wise. We don't. We have arrived. Well, if we arrived where we at? But they didn't wait on the Lord. He said he'll renew your strength. Amen. He'll go before you. What? He gonna make your way straight. Yeah. Amen. Deliver me not over the will of my enemy. For false witnesses have risen up against me. And such as breathe out cruelty. Oh, they've been, they've been plotting on what evil they can do to you. But don't you think about them. Think about God who can keep them from doing that to you. Because right. if I'd have been thinking about what they did and the cruelty or what they, they imagined to do to me, they're in their house. The king talking to his closest confidants. We got this plot, we're going to kill Israel, we're going to kill Samaria, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. We got so many people, we got to outnumber them and do this. And they talking about it, they plotting. And God has his prophet. So many times, God, wake you up in the night, wake me up in the night, show me a dream, show me a vision. He wake you up, he show you stuff. And you're looking at it. He said, okay, Lord, what do we do? He said, just wait, I'll tell you what to do. I told you that so you can be prepped. And I'm going to tell you later what else to do. Just, you just be prepared right now. Just wait. Wait on me. I, I just forewarned you. So what we going to do? We got We got it. I got this and you got it. Because you with me. Now when you got it, you got to figure out how you're going to overdo what they're doing. Where are you going to meet them at? They, they setting up the, 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 the what you call it, the places where they're going to, a hostage place, places where they're going to attack you at. And now you got to figure out how to get around them when you ain't got to do that. God will let them dig ditches, dig pits. They measure the pits up. They're using their own men to measure the pits up. <laughs> Why are they doing that? Because they feel the measure for their own self. They feel to dig their own ditches. They dig their own grave. You ain't got to worry about that. You still walk in peace because you know God got you. Yeah. You ain't afraid you not, you fear not. What he say? He said, I whom whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? I had fainted if I'd have been worried, if I'd have been uh, those that's breathing out cruelty about me, putting plots, trying to put shoot arrows at me. I would have fainted. They put a comma behind that word fainted. Why put a comma there? Because the next one gonna prove gonna prove that unless I would have fainted, I would have passed out. When a person faints, somebody tell me. When somebody tell me, when someone passed out, either they're overwhelmed and they don't know what to do, and they just give up. They pass out. They faint. When you got God, the Lord Jesus Christ, you got the Holy Ghost, the angel Lord going before you. You ain't got to faint. Even though you don't know what to do, you know who do know what to do, and you know he's on. He's already on the case. He done went before you. Yeah. Yeah. Heat that, heat that oven up seven times. That's God's number. Just you did the right number. Heat it up seven times. You heat it up so till the people that threw the men in burned up before they could get the other people in there. Before these people got burned up, when they opened the door. The big man that threw him in there, he died right there from the flames that come out there and licked him up, but it didn't kill the one he's throwing in there. Y'all not listening to oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> unless I would have faded, it, unless I believe. See, there you go. That's You got to believe. If you don't keep believing, you don't keep trusting, you don't keep counting God faithful, you don't keep judging God that God is faithful, you won't be able to see the goodness of the Lord in the land living. God still tell you to wait on the Lord. If you wait on the Lord, he'll surely come and he won't tarry. He said he'll be right up on time. He'll be right in there in the midst 
to the situation with you. He got your back. He done went before you. He covered you. He got a shield that stands up and when the enemy threw his arrow, ping, 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 ping. Even if you throw kryptonite, you still can't do nothing. The Lord in the land of the living, he, he'll keep you in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. See, don't be afraid. Be of good courage. Encourage yourself and encourage others. You say, well, what if I try to encourage people and they and they don't want to encourage me? Don't be mad at them. Don't get angry. See, that's that an offense will cause strife. Fence, strife, and then anger will result in letting fear come in and you lose your faith. What you believe in God for, you ain't believing no more. Because you're thinking on what, how come they don't believe? What is that to you? Do you believe? Yes. Is you going to hold on to your faith? Yes, Are you going to use your faith? Yes, Are you going to be mad while, while somebody else ain't doing something? No, your lip just dragging the ground about somebody else. How many lives can you be, live? How many noses do you have? One. one. Tend to that one. Leave those folks alone. <clears throat> pray for, if you want to do something for them, pray so, Lord, help them to see. Yeah. Let it go. Don't, don't go with a campaign. You know I tried talking to her and she won't listen to me. Uh, 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 Now no. you done left your faith. You're getting over where fear can come in. You're getting over where strife can come in. And where strife is, God's not in there. No. You won't let your peace. Your peace is settling and you disturbing peace. You're taking peace apart. You're pulling peace out. You're throwing peace out. you let letting other stuff come up in there. Then your nerves get to bother. Then you start getting the headache. Then you start getting that shoulder ache, your back ache, your foot ache, your knee ache, your belly ache. Wait on the Lord. Yeah. Yes. Wait on the Lord. That's yeah. what God told me. That tornado was coming down. We had work and the tornado was coming down. I'm, I've seen that thing. When Jesus, when I see the Lord, I remember that. Yeah. But it ain't the storm I remember. I remember what God done. Because right. I know we didn't do nothing. We did everything we could do. We rebuked it in the name of Jesus where everybody down there in the shop and up front could hear it. Go, go in the closet and pray. He ain't in the closet. He's right out there. He's going to tear this building up and kill us. What, 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 what am I doing now? Yeah. Tell him, don't bother me. I don't want to hurt these people either. Amen. Right. Right. After rebuking, thank you for a right arm and a left arm, but I remember where yeah. he touched me at. He touched me on my arm. He said, it ain't working. That's what he said to me. It ain't working. And by, by all indication, when you look with your eyes, it was not working. Because right. the, the cloud was still coming down when I said that and when he said that to me. But God gave me this four-letter word right here, this W-A-I-L. I mean, I T. I'm trying to change. I'm trying to change the, word, the, the spelling. Right? W-A-I-T. God said, wait. And I opened my big fat mouth and turned to him and said, wait. That don't make sense. What you mean, wait? We need to run. Well, it's too late now. All of us standing out front and front looking at the thing. Mm -hmm. When that devil heard me say, wait to this man, he knew God was involved because that was a, a word from the Lord. After you done used the name of Jesus and you done rebuked it and the blood, you done did everything and you stood there and you used your faith, God's not going to let you be standing there and be accosted or be assaulted and be destroyed if you don't run. Mm -hmm. If you tell to run, then run. If he don't say run, don't you run. Because if you run, you can do something wrong. When I said wait to him, that cloud did this. It reversed itself. I told him what to do. I said go from here. I go back up and go from here. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. It hadn't even come down yet. Then it started doing this. It went right back up, left our place and went to Garland and tore a place up over in Garland. Mm. 
It still had a gray sky, but it didn't have that dark cloud over us no more. Then they were talking about on the news, it's going to hit over in Forney, it's, it's over in Mesquite. I said, devil, are you crazy? I know what I told you. You better get yourself from Mesquite, get it from Forney, get, go, go get out of here. Now, I didn't tell them to leave Garland. I didn't know. I'm just saying leave us. Leave us. Man. I wasn't trying to hurt right. Garland. Right. You ain't got to be mad at me because I went to God. I had nothing to do with that. I, I didn't want it to hit us. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Yes. And he shall strengthen your heart. See, at that moment, your heart is being tested. Your heart is being uh, quivered, being, being shaken, being moved. Then he said, wait at the front on the Lord and be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thine heart. Then he said one more time, wait, I say, on the Lord. Why he got to tell you twice to wait? Because when you look with your eyes and you hear with your ears, you want to do something. He ain't told you what to do. Everything else is telling you to do something that God didn't tell you to do. Find out what he wants you to do and do that. Amen. Do that and do that only. Yes. Stop saying negative stuff. Say what the word says. Right. Speak life. Say in Jesus' name, by his stripes I'm healed. Amen. No yes. weapon formed against me shall prosper. Right. Long life he satisfied me. Show him me his Amen. salvation. Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. You told us to fear not. Perfect love cast out fear. He that fear is not made perfect in love because fear has torment. You don't torment us. You speak life to us. I speak life to the people in this venue. Everybody in the sound of my voice hear me speak life. Receive life. Receive Jesus. Receive faith. If you're not saved, ask Jesus to come in my heart, forgive me of my sins, make me a child of God, and then baptize me in the Holy Ghost. I want to live for you all the days of my life. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Until we meet again, friends, Apostle Samuel Hendricks, for God's word of faith. God bless you. Bye-bye.